Welcome to episode 11 of Quantity Serving Program. I hope you have already seen the previous episodes of our villa project. In the previous episodes, we covered quantity takeoff for columns, beam, slab, and staircase, etc. And today we'll talk about how to get the unit rate for RCC and PCC item of BOQ by doing the rate analysis and material analysis for concrete work of our villa project. The rate and material analysis sheet can be prepared in any format by considering material, labor, machinery, contractors profit and waste etc. A purpose of this calculation is to achieve the deliverable unit rate no matter which sequence or process we follow. I am going to explain in meter and UA their humps. But it doesn't matter. The point here which we need to understand is that the calculation is a thought process where a quantity surveyor must consider every aspect of an item that need to be priced and rate. We are going to focus here on concrete today. But if you wish to learn the rate analysis for earthwork, so you can visit my previous episode, especially number seven, where I have explained about earthwork, rate analysis and material excavation filling so those episodes will give you more idea okay but now today as we promised we'll focus only on rcc and pcc rate analysis and if you are wondering what is the purpose behind by doing the rate analysis and cost analysis so the purpose is to get the unit rate one number one value so that value we can later enter in our boq rate column you can see here I have entered here 887 and 743 from where I get this value. So to get this value we have to done some calculation behind. So those calculation or thought process or analysis those all calculation will help us to get one number. Okay. So this is our purpose today to get the actual value. Now I'll take you on the screen and I want you to note all the prices which you can see here on the screen right now or just the sample price to give you the understanding there could be a variation but if you really need to have the correct rate then you may need to contact available vendors in the market and the excel sheet which you can see on the screen right now is the one which i have prepared in a simple manner so you can understand but the most important is great and here the pcc ratio is m20 you can see here and M20 mean it's 1 ratio, 1.5 ratio and 3. What is 1 and 1.5 and 3? The 1 is cement, 1.5 is sand and 3 is gravel, aggregate. And by considering this, we have to do all the calculation. But what if the grade level is different, M25 or M40? No worries. The way I'm going to explain you today, it will help you to do the calculation for any other grade. And even this Excel sheet will help you anytime you change. Let's say if you're dealing with any other grade where sand is 2, you will see all the calculation and the prices will automatically update. Okay. So basically, you need to understand the concept. Rest all will be the same. Okay. Let's focus on the calculation now. You can see here I have mentioned here the ratio for cement, sand and gravel which is aggregate separately I have mentioned and sum of ratio. I have mentioned the details so it will be easy for us to do the calculation. So let's start by the cement. We need to know here how much cement do we need in one cubic meter. We can see here the ratio is one but how much it will be. So for that purpose what exactly I have done. You can see here in the comment as well I have shown here I have mentioned the detail whatever I am doing here so it will be easy for you to understand. I have divided the cement ratio on the overall sum of ratio. So I got here 0.18 cubic meter. So volume of the cement here as per the ratio is 0.18. Then the next I'm simply following the density of cement. You can Google, you will find out the density of cement is 1440 kg per cubic meter. The next is we need to know how much kg. So simply I multiply the total volume with the density so i have here total 261 kgs it's very simple so now we have the value in kg the next we cannot buy the cement in kg we usually buy from the market in the bags so you know how much is the bag it's 50 kg or 60 kg so what i have done here total 
kgs i have divided on 50 so we know here right now we need 5 point so it will be approximately 6 bags we need so till here it's a material analysis the next phase is rate analysis so you will see here where i have done for the material and where i have done for the rate for the cost analysis okay fine so and by the way i'm linking the each excel cell so in future if i change anything rest all the values will automatically change fine once we have this value which is 5.4 kgs we need so we need to understand what is the rate for each bag so according to your region and country you can check what is the rate i have mentioned here 15 kg each bag so i simply multiply the total bag multiply by the cost so here i have the total cost of cement is 78.55 ad gonna cost me and that's not the only cost 78 what about shrinkage as you know whenever we add a water in the cement what happens it shrinks it's not like a sand it's not like a gravel it shrinks so we have to consider the shrinkage as well so for that purpose there is different ratio some people they multiply by 1.54 or 40 to 50 it depends country by the temperature and many other concepts so here i have considered 50 percent extra so nothing else i just simply consider 50 percent and after adding the 50 this much will be the cost per cubic meter so here according to this ratio my cement cost will be 117 okay you can go for approximately 118 or 20 that's the different thing but that's the rate analysis for cement let's go further the next one is sand firstly we have to get the ratio of the sand as per the grade so here what is the grade for sand 1.5 so again the same concept i have firstly get the volume of the sand by 1.5 divided by the sum of the ratio then the next is density of sand you have to get the total density of sand now density of sand is ranging between 1400 to 2000 kg per cubic meter but really depending on different conditions like it's a wet it's a dry loose dry packed or wet packed etc and it could be a natural sand or a manufactured one so there are you know many different conditions that affect and you can check in your country or region but let's assume here density of sand is 1550 kgs per cubic meter fine once we have we just need to multiply the total density with the volume and you can see here i have mentioned here for your reference it's a simple formula mass equal to volume by multiply by density okay so i have here total 422 kgs I have that now sand we buy in tons okay so we need to know how many tons it will be easy calculation so basically there are thousand kgs in each ton so nothing else I simply divided by thousand and I have here 0 0.42 tons okay firstly we have done here material analysis for sand now we are going for rate analysis for sand so simply we have here total required sand in tons we need to know how much it cost us per ton so according to your country you can find the cost here it cost me around 50 AD per tons okay now simply i need to multiply so it will cost me around 21 dirham per cubic meter and the next is wastage of sand and here i want you to know that the sand nature is opposite to cement as you know cement shrink but here sand it doesn't shrink so we have to use the right terminology we need to add here simply a waste of sand so it depends how much you want to add here i'm considering here 14 percent of sand so simply added a 14 and the next value is almost 30 dirham it will cost me per cubic meter so as per the given ratio as per the given grade the sand cost will be 29.59 okay and the next one is gravel aggregate we have to done firstly the material analysis and then the rate so firstly we have to get the volume of gravel as per the given ratio so simply 3 divided by 5.5 i have the ratio 0 0.55 cubic meter now we need to know the density of gravel again it depends but here i'm considering here 2800 kg per cubic meter okay and once we have the density of gravel we simply need to multiply so volume multiplied by density i have the total 
1527 per kg and the next you know that we have to convert into tons so how many tons we need simply divide this 1000 and you have the total gravel in tons once you have done the material analysis for gravel the next is rate analysis so in the rate analysis you need to know how much it costs you per ton so check the available vendors check the market rate and then you will know the exact value here it cost me around 85 dirhams per tons so when i have multiply 85 by the required tons it will cost me around 129 and after that i need to add consider some wastage as well maybe the wastage is 20 percent 30 and 40 it depends here i have considered 40 to give you the example so total will cost me 181 and once you have the cement sand and gravel you simply need to sum i have sum the cement value sand and gravel and total it will cost me 329 so when it comes to material this is my unit rate okay but if you need to consider the water charge so you can consider here water charge around 15 to 20 percent here i have considered 20 percent so after adding the water charge it will cost me around 300 95 AD per cubic meter so it doesn't matter now which unit I use either it's a feet or inches or it, either it's a dollar or rupees or dirhams if you follow the concept it will be easy for you to done any calculation by your own so here simply I have done the rate and material analysis for three items cement sand and gravel now moving forward we have to do for the labor as well and then for the machinery and contractors overhead as well the next one is labor here you need to understand you need to assume a bit based on your experience how many mason labor or machine operator or helper you need here skilled or unskilled so here I assumed here I need one mason and two unskilled labor that can help and one machine operator this machine operator I have considered for RCC mixer machine operator okay so we have to consider the labor required labor and how much they can finish so i've considered here one labor per day can finish one cubic meter so this will cost me one mason will cost me 70 dirham two unskilled labor will cost me 150 each and one machine operator i consider him skilled labor it will cost me 70 dirham so per day four labors i needed and it will cost me 240 AD per cubic meter if you need more you can add more maybe not two maybe four or two mason depend on your working okay so i have assumed here this many labors i need and this is the total cost so we have the cost for material and cost for labor the next one is machinery so which machines do you need here i have considered a concrete mixer machine that will cost me 550 AD per day i have considered it on rent we can mention here on rent if you want more detail we are considering each value in cubic meter so we need to convert into cubic meter by doing that we need to understand how much this machine can do in per day so i have assumed here it can finish six meter cube if your experience says it can finish five cubic meter or ten cubic meter depending on that or maybe you have uh, took two machines on rent so it may consider 10 to 15 cubic meter depending on that so basically what i did i have considered one machine can finish six cubic meter so by dividing 550 which was the day cost once i have divided by six cubic meter i have the 9180 cost okay fine the next i need a vibrator concrete vibrator you know the purpose of concrete vibrator so we have to consider that as well so per day it will cost me 180 now again I have to convert this into meter cube so by converting this day cost into cubic meter we need to assume how much work it can done so I assume here 30 cubic meter so I simply divide the cost per day on 30 cubic meter and here I have the 3.380 per cubic meter cost okay so as per my idea as per my thought process these are the two machinery I need I have to sum then sundries, some tools some extra I have considered 10 percentage so it will cost me around total machinery cost will be 104 AD so till now I have three cost I have the total material cost 329 I have the total labor cost 240 
and I have the total machinery cost. When I have three of them, I just need to sum and this is the sum you can see on the screen 739 cubic meter per 80. Now what about contractors profit and overhead? So it depends either you're considering 15% or 20% or maybe more 25. But if you consider extra which is profit, so by 20% it will cost me 887 AD per cubic meter. Now this cost is the unit cost by doing the rate analysis and material analysis by doing this all the calculation we end up having one rate and this rate we can enter here in our BOQ 887 so next time when you see one number there is a effort there is a experience and, and a lot of work required behind to enter one number okay so this unit cost I have entered here and now I have the total AD required PCC I hope you understand the thought process of rate and material analysis for concrete work. I have shown you the grade M20 concrete. Now I will suggest you to follow the same pattern and practice for M20 because you can see here in our BOQ we need the concrete for M20 as well where the ratio is 1, 2 and 4. Okay. So how to do this calculation? The concept is very simple. You can see here I have already done but I will not explain here because the concept is same. You just need to change the value. You can see here just the change of value and rest all will be same. A minor changes will be required but rest of the concept is same. So I will suggest you to practice by following the same calculation and concept. Okay. And once you finish it, feel free to share it with me through the LinkedIn. I will review it and I will give you my remarks. And by the way, in our project. I needed the concrete unit rate which you can see here I have entered. Initially I had two options either I can calculate as I have shown you today how to done all the calculation and second is if you just need the unit rate so why not to simply contact the concrete batching plant and request them for self compacting concrete by providing the details of required concrete. So if you want, you want to remove the headache and you just want a unit rate, you can simply call them and ask the unit rate for self-compacting concrete as well. Okay, that's the second option. And but if you need to understand the concept, that is why I have shown you this video. Okay, and for the practice, I have given already this Excel sheet in the description. You can find out the link. You can download and practice. And if you have a question while practicing, you know where to contact. Contact me on a LinkedIn. I will try my best to help you as much as I can and if you learn something today and you like this video you know what you have to do you have to mention in a comment and let me know what you learned today so thank you so much for watching this stay connected and keep learning guys